hello future designers so welcome to the continuation of our figma projects with luti so i'm going to continue to this so this is what we are going to be doing okay so our final project will look like this you can scroll okay so that said um already in the previous lessons you guys learned how to import luti files okay so i'm not going to go and then um, pick these files again because i already have them so what i'll do is to just what I did was to draw uh, rulers, okay, so the ruler is going to guide me as to where um, this object or this shape should be and the icons should be, okay. So first of all, let's do the down, so there's a shadow here, uh, I did that using the line tool. So the line tool, I'll go here, pick a line tool, then click here and then draw while holding on shift, okay, so shift is going to make a perfect line. If I leave shift, you can see it's diagonal now. So I'm going to hold shift and then it's straight now. I'm going to change my um, stroke to 2. Okay, so let me see. Where is it? Did it vanish? Okay, let me click here and see where it is. Okay. So I'm going to give it a color, an ash color, a gray color. Okay, so you wouldn't have this. Uh, so if you don't have, you can just click this. That's my color code for the gray. Okay. So I'm going to move it up with the um, up arrow key. Take it up. Okay, so this should be okay. And then now, let's do that of this icon. So this icon, okay, you just right click and then go to <coughs> sorry iconify so iconify and then at iconify uh, you can set for switch okay um yeah so just type switch <coughs> and then you click on this okay now um you might not have iconify because you've not installed the plugin so you have to go to plugins just thoughts in the previous lesson okay browse plugins and then search for it so I'm not going to do that. Okay, so I'm just going to copy Control C, Control V, this, and then bring it here. I want it to be here. Okay. Okay. And uh, you, when you install or yeah, you install it, this icon, um, you would have different colors. Okay. So what I did was to just click on it and then come to fill. Then I gave it any color, but I actually used the eyedropper to pick a color from here. Okay, so you can see or you can use the eyedropper to pick any color okay so let me just pick this color okay now what we'll do is we want to draw this rectangle around the rectangle so i'm going to the shape tool and then pick a rectangle and then my border once i would have to start from this place and then here okay so i'm going to use alt so alt okay so the distance from this rectangle to the edge of our device is 38 okay that's the spacing okay 38 and then from from here to here is 86 okay so from the top of the shape rectangle shape to here is 86 so that's the spacing okay and uh, if you want to look at the spacing for this two is um for this is 45 okay from this to this is 45 okay so here i'm going to change the color to white to white okay now and then i'll give it a stroke uh, sorry an effect drop shadow effects okay so my drop shadow value i'll leave it to four and then the blaze is four okay so let's leave it let me see if i have to do something i have to round in the corners i'm going to round in the corners so you can see this three circle this four circles at the corners if you can see it you have to zoom in to um, then to appear okay using ctrl plus plus to zoom in or better so you can actually do it here so you can give it a value here and let me see the value i gave to it i gave it uh, let me see the value 10 okay so let me give it 10 So just 10, I'm going to enter 10. Okay. 
Okay, so turning us around in the corners, but we can see it well. So I have to work on my drop shadow. Okay, so let me look here and then see the drop shadow effect that was given to this. So two and then six, so two, six, okay. So two, that's why was set to two, then my blur was set to six. Okay. So I can take this rectangle, um, the rulers out, that's the vertical ones. Oh, okay, let me leave this one's out. Okay. Okay, so now let's pick our Loti file. Okay, so you already know how to pick the Loti. You go to plugins and go to Loti files. If you're already registered on Loti, you've done the connection, plugins and installation, just click here. And then search for any Luti file and then click on convert to um, GIF. So it's taking some time, so I'm going to cancel it because we already have uh, learned about that in the previous lesson. Okay, so um, I'm just going to copy this Ctrl C, Ctrl V, and then bring it here. So position it here. Let me bring it here a bit. Okay. I don't need this. okay now we would want the icon so the icon you can right click and go to plugins and look for iconify <clears throat> and then look for um, correct or look for any icon okay any icon that looks like this or any icon because for me i really don't know why i brought this but uh, let's just use it so look for any icon and then put it here okay so you can either use iconify or material icons okay, any icon okay so let me close it so uh, i'm just going to copy this you see Control v then i'm going to move it to this place okay okay so my the size of my icon is 19 by 19 and then there's some oh, let me give it some small spacing before the text comes okay so with the text Okay, you use the text to just the T here. Okay. Okay, so I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to do Control C, Control V. Okay. Then I'm going to start from here. Let me bring it down. Okay, so it aligns with it. Okay. And now we would want the icon, the bell icon or the notification icon. So you can still go to your plugins and then search in Iconify or Material Design icons. And then look for um, bell or notification and then pick it so i'm going to select this one Control c Control v then move it here okay, so i'm going to make it <coughs> centered okay in between this okay so your if you want to change the color just click on the icon and then click on the fill and then give it any color value of your choice okay so i'm going to take it back to its color now we want this icon, uh, this shape here and then the text. So you can just pick the rectangle tool and then draw from here. So I'm going to draw from here to somewhere here. Then I can stretch it to this place. Okay, so somewhere here where the E begins. And then I'm going to round in the corners. So let me give it a kind of value of, uh, let me say 10 and C. 10. 10 is too much so let me do it 5 okay so 5 is okay okay so 5 is okay and then you can give it this color value so i'm going to my fill and then pick the eyedropper okay and okay or better so since it's already um the colors that i already have on my canvas okay all my interface is here i'll just select it okay and it, so i select it and that should be it okay and then I can just control C this, control V it, and then bring it here. Okay. So that's the uh, in progress. So any icon with this color means in progress. You can see the color is trying to um. So the 
tell the user what um, the icons mean. So this particular color tells us it's overdue, and then the green color tells us um, it's uh, completed, and this one tells us it's in progress. Okay. So I'll see you in the next lesson, and uh, thank you for watching.